Sue Ellen telephone. Thank you, Lucy. Sounds like the same man that called. You know, the husband of your old college girlfriend? Hello? Sue Ellen, I had to call you. I hope it's okay. Dusty. I had to tell you how sorry I am about the other day. I didn't mean what I was saying. I was jealous. I'll make it up to you. I love you, Sue Ellen. That's nice to hear. Are you all right? I'm better now. Just remember this. I'll be right here if you need me. No matter what happens. I appreciate that. I think we can make it. I know we can. Say, Ellen, everybody's been asking for you, honey. Uh, I'll be there in a minute, Jane. Thank you so much for calling. I'm uh, sorry you won't be able to make it tonight. So well, and wait. Uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye. So well, Ellen. Um, that was one of the girls from the DOA sending her regrets. Well, you want to be there when Harv Smithfield arrives, don't you? Well, come on. I've just talked to Dr. Miles, and the first test was conclusive. Well? There's no doubt about it. J.R., you are the daddy. But of course, we've known that all the time, haven't we, eh? Well, I never could figure out why that boy wanted a blood test anyway. Well, maybe he hoped you'd all refuse to take the test. Who knows? Well, I think this calls for a toast. <laughs> Come on in, everybody. Well, how are you? Bring hey, in the drink. Come, here. <laughs> Come on. You got a surprise folks. All right, now, let's just have it quiet for just a minute. I've got a little announcement to make. The blood test proved that Cliff Barnes is a liar. Hey. Now, now I'd like to propose a toast to Don Ross Ewing the <laughs> Third. I'll drink of that, Dad. JR's son and my grandson. All right, everybody, have a good time. Move around. I was really beginning to think that Cliff was telling the truth. Come on. All right, this is going to nail Barnes. I want you in my office first thing tomorrow morning. We'll go over the details of this lawsuit. I figure a million and a half dollars ought to pretty well seal his coffin, right, Daddy? Yeah, I agree. Yes, yes, it should. Now, wait just a minute. I'm the one that's suing him, aren't I? That's right. And I hope you can spare some time tomorrow to attend the strategy meeting. Well, the fact is that Mr. Barnes is suffering from delusions. The idea that he's the father of little John is uh, obviously not the thinking of a sane man. J.R., you have already ruined his career. Isn't that quite enough? Hell no, it's not enough. Well, it is for me, and I am dropping this embarrassing lawsuit. I just to blame in it, Sue Ellen. Don't you see? It's the only gracious thing to do. 